Hello and welcome, one and all. You join us for this match between Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe. I'm Adam Gilchrist, and next to me in the commentary position is Michael Atherton, Mel Jones, and the one and only Ali Mitchell. Looking forward to this one. It should be a cracking game. Thanks, Ali. We go out to the middle now. Big decision coming up. Despite the conditions, the captains asking the openers to pad up might be a costly decision. The bowlers will fancy their chances of early wickets. Here we go with the first ball of the match. Nothing better than getting a match started and hearing the sound of leather on willow. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading up to this game, so I want to show everyone their strength. Edged. Wow, that's a huge appeal for the catch. If there's something on it, it was the finest of edges. An absolute screamer, diving away to the side, taking a great catch. Well, was that a lazy shot or a good piece of bowling? And the field was set and they fell for it. Out for a duck. And with that wicket, we'll see a change out in the middle. The task here will be that of support and getting themselves settled into their innings. I oh, thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. Williams cuts away, but finds the fielder just behind point. Straight to the fielder. Three added in that over. Zimbabwe are three for one. End of the first, not many runs off it. A good start by the bowlers. The right armour is coming on to bowl from the grandstanding. Massive outside edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Cuts that off well in the infield. It's 
Square cut, finds point, no run. Oh, that's just outrageous. And out! Oh, how did he get to that one? Two down, the long walk back to the pavilion for them. This could be a huge swing of momentum. A difficult period as they come to the wicket. They'll take plenty of time to settle themselves in before facing their first ball. Great shot. Just stepped inside the line and flick of the wrist. And that'll run out to the boundary. Threaded it through brilliantly. All timing on that shot. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. End of the over. Zimbabwe, 12 for two. Steady start. Taking a bit longer than they would like to get set. They can launch from here, though. Oh, now then, that's high in the air. That should get a few here. Just missed the line. Not the worst delivery, but that was put away with interest. Too much width and got the full treatment. You've just got to stand and admire. I didn't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. They just need to keep the ball in the right areas and the rewards will come. Beats the field with a great shot. Couldn't get it through the field. That's a great shot. Here's the gap between point and cover point. It's a fast outfield, so that'll be four more. You just can't hit it any better than that. Beautiful delivery. No chance for the fielders. Doesn't beat the infield. <laughs> Playing all their shots in that over, a very expensive over. Big edge, where's that going? Nearly got through them, just got onto it in time, and with enough bat speed to pick up four. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Can't get that outside the ring field. Got that away nicely. There'll be runs here. Massive outside edge. Just 
He's got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. End of the over, 10 off it. Zimbabwe, 34 for two. You can't hit the ball much better than that. Timed it to perfection. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the marquee end. Got on the inside and played that wonderfully. Fielder needs to work hard to stop that. Beats the outside edge. Good bowling there. Was quick onto that in the infield. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. End of the over, Zimbabwe, a 35 for two. The right armour is coming into the attack from the grandstand end. Caught. And it's one of the easiest catches you'll see. Simple as you like. The batter didn't bother to look at more than one delivery in that over. A long walk back to the pavilion. This has not been a good knock. Not what you expect from someone of this skill level. The new batter always likes to feel bad on ball as they bring a bit of nervous energy to the wicket. Drilled that one away. What a lovely shot and it flew to the boundary. That's clearly not the type of delivery to be bowling. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Straight drive, mid-off will cut that one off. Massive appeal. Might have just been missing, though. The trudge back to the pavilion. A good start, but that's all they've managed. They did the hard work and threw it away in the end. With four of that wicket, the new batter comes charging out to the crease. They're quick to take guard and face up. That's out. Cork. Oh, great work. Held their nerve while the ball was in the air. And they've taken a good catch. It's 
starting to get interesting now. That's the fifth wicket. And a very frustrated person is heading back to the pavilion. New batter comes to the crease. Never an easy time to come into bat after the fall of a wicket. Big edge over Zimbabwe, 40 for five. Edged it. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Nicked it. Across the stumps and a flick of the wrist. It's wide of square leg. Could be four. Hit them at pace. That looked painful. No, no, no. Terrible shot. Things have been kept relatively quiet here. Another good over comes to an end. It's been a bit of a battle finding some big overs, but they worked the ball around nicely. Edge, but it drops safely. The bowler looks really confident. Simple as you like, the batter didn't bother to look at more than one delivery in that over. Well, this is a fantastic wicket. Kept the runs down, really didn't get settled and looked to be in trouble for most of the knock. Well, it's a long way to walk out there just to turn around and walk straight back. They'll just want to get this first run behind them and then push on. Got that away nicely. Finds the fielder with that shot. Misses everything. out of here that could be out of the ground the runs are starting to come now really good shot for six this innings is starting to build all the way got it right out of the middle the last one helped the scoring rate making their intentions for this innings Raza goes again. That's a huge hit. It's going way, way into the stands. Follows up the first six with an even better strike. Impressive hitting display at the moment.
Raza is finding it difficult to contain this pair at the moment. My advice would be go back to your stock delivery and then build from there. Good running, they should come back for two. Really good over, takes a wicket and keeps it tight. Somehow they've got to find some boundaries. Kikshana coming into the attack from the marquee end. Dragged down and put away. Pulled that with great power and it's been launched into the crowd for a maximum. Hit that one on the arc, a fabulous drive for six. Just need to keep it simple, line and length, roundabout off stump, that'll force a mistake. Smacks that away through the gap. Well, you can't fault that shot. It's nicely played, and it was four runs all the way. That last ball isn't something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs. Crash! Beautiful bowling. their 50 without a lot of trouble and fortunately for them the 100 wasn't to be as they head back to the dressing room and with that wicket the new batter will mark center just needs to rotate the strike early on as they get settled into their innings flex that one simple as you like inside the ring Missed it. Stumping opportunity. They go up here, but it might have pitched a bit short. We'll have to wait and see what the umpire says. The eighth wicket to fall. The opening batters out there in the field will probably be starting to prepare themselves for their own innings. Lots of pressure coming into bat. They'll have to wait just a little bit longer to face their first ball though. Sharnaka given the job here to bowl the last over of the innings. Someone different now to bowl at. Brings a different set of problems. I feel it's just a matter of pitching the ball up and getting them onto the front foot. Massive outside edge. Well, didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key here. Winds up but misses. Looks like they went a bit too early on that shot. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Power and precision in that shot. Mm -hmm. 
Nice shot, straight back to the bowl. Beautiful catch. In the air and cover takes an easy catch. That's number nine down. The bowling's been good so far. The tenth shouldn't be too long in coming, you'd think. And that's the end of the innings. Zimbabwe have set a target of 76 runs. This total is well below par and the openers are going to be looking to close this out quickly. The bowlers are going to have to find something to make up for the rest of the batting team's failures. Here we go. First ball. Lovely cover drive. But straight to the extra cover fielder. Now, great opportunity to prove the critics wrong. Certainly needs to build an innings for the team. Finds the edge. The whole team's gone up here. What's the umpire going to say? Nicely done by the keeper. The first wicket gone. The opening partnership is broken. You can see the relief on the bowler's face. Another quick wicket and they'll be into the middle order. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Cuts that off well in the infield. A little bit of wobble on that ball. It's safely taken by the keeper. Not enough on it to entice a shot though. Big edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Clever shot. Moved across the line of the ball and just clipped it away. Finally, it won't stop that. Can't afford to go too full again. It does help to switch up your deliveries just to keep them guessing. Wow, that's missed the lot. End of the over. Six runs coming from it. Sri Lanka are six for one. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the grandstand end. Great shot, through the gap. Great shot, rode the ball up with him and cut through point. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot. 
Yeah, it can be very disheartening seeing good deliveries smacked around. Sometimes, though, you've just got to accept it and move on. Got that away nicely. Threaded it through brilliantly. All timing on that shot. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. Does very well to quickly get across to this one. End of the over, 10 runs from it. Sri Lanka, 16 for one. With two down, they're already ahead of the required run rate quite easily early on. Good footwork behind the stumps, taking it cleanly. No interest, though, from the batter. That's four all the way. Beautiful shot. Pereira says thank you. It was a gift, and they smashed it away to the boundary rope. Tried something a bit different last delivery, and the captain shouldn't mind that too much. If they get it right, they just might get that wicket. Nicked it. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Perfectly timed. Pereira got it into the gap, and the ball did the rest. Brilliant shot. Dragged it down, nailed it off the back foot. Super batting. Raza, I don't think, will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Massive outside edge. Overpitched, punched through the leg side. Field has got some work to do. Lovely cover drive, straight to the extra cover fielder. Overstepping, just a little too eager on that delivery. An effort ball and called for the front foot. At least they've got an extra ball to go for that wicket. Two straight. It's just been helped on its way for a maximum. Fine shot there. Crunch on the front foot and bang. Gone all the way. End of the over. Sri Lanka 34 for one.
Maza Rabani from the grandstanding. Perfectly timed. Well, these are the sorts of shots you just stand and admire. Gets onto the back foot and rolls the wrists to keep control and find the boundary. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. Straight to the fielder. Good shot, the beauty. That is a masterclass of batting. Reads the length, gets forward, and dispatches it to the boundary. A uh, good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Can't get that outside the ring field. Nine runs out of there. Sri Lanka, a 43 for one. A new bowler is coming into the attack. Head over the ball, great shot, that's racing away. A poor delivery, and you don't pass up chances like that, crashed away for four. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Couldn't get it through the field. Caress that nicely through the gap to the boundary. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important, just focus on getting the next delivery right. Great shot. Gets a hold of that and places it through square leg. That showed great skill, lovely timing. The boundary was the only place that ball was heading. Boundaries are flowing. We need to find a dot ball or two just to slow things down again. Doesn't beat the infield. Kicking the scoreboard over really nicely at the moment. 14 runs out of there. Sri Lanka a 57 for one. Going with spin now.
touched it. Flashed at it. Didn't time it well, but got enough to get it to the boundary. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Nicked it. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length. Roundabout off stump. That'll force a mistake. Chance to run two. Clicks that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Great shot through the gap. Got that one. Clean out of the middle. Four off a brilliant shot. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but we just got to stay positive and believe the wicket's going to come. Right out of the textbook, off the middle, and it flew to the boundary. Two boundaries in a row. Time to focus back to line and length. Lovely cover drive is straight to the extra cover field. That's gone. A nice simple catch. In the air and cover takes an easy catch. Good innings, weathered some good bowling and scored freely when given the opportunity, but couldn't keep it going and will head back disappointed. Yeah, big opportunity. They've worked really hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an innings and get a big score on the board. Williams, the left arm orthodox bowler, is coming into the attack on the marquee end. Goes for it. It's high in the air. Fielder coming around, but it looks like it'll carry. Dananjaya taking guard, has been playing really well in recent matches, certainly needs to bring their A game today. That was a mighty win, really just too easy to score runs and chase down that total with time to spare. A great all-round performance. There was only one team really in it today. An exceptional display that saw a very easy win. That's all from us in the commentary box. Hope to see you again very soon.